River Country, 102.3, KCJC, and Miranda Lambert, the house that built me. Jared Jackson along with you this morning and on the phone line from Nashville, Tennessee, via Russellville, Arkansas. Welcome in our old friends Hannah Blaylock, Cheryl Green, Dean Burner, Eden's Edge to the show. Good morning. Good morning. Wow. Congratulations, first of all. Uh, it, they're in order because... Uh, understand you guys will be performing at the Grand Ole Opry. I know. We're so excited. And there are a lot of people from Russellville coming. So we're really pumped. We're going to have a big after party afterwards to just kind of like hang out with family and have a good time. And so we're really pumped about that. Well, I know I have talked to some people that are making the trip up there to Nashville to see you guys, to support you guys. And uh, they're so proud. I I can speak for the entire Arkansas River Valley in saying that uh, we are very, very proud of what you guys have accomplished. Y'all have uh, really made us proud, uh, and and you're great ambassadors for the state of Arkansas. Uh, Thank you. We've had so much support from that whole area and and the whole state in general, really. So we're uh, just honored to get to be out here and get to do this. It's our dream, you know. Yeah, absolutely, and it's nice to see you guys achieve your dreams. You know, I remember it wasn't that long ago that, uh, Hannah, you were here in the studio uh, with Hannah Blaylock in Lost and Found, and, boy, it just seems like just the other day, and now here you are with uh, Cheryl and, and Dean on, on stage at the Grand Ole Opry Saturday, and I uh, understand another big announcement will be made, that or, or has already, that you guys will be touring opening for a huge country music star. Yeah, we're actually we're not sure if it's been announced yet, so we're not sure if we're able to say anything. <laughs> oh well, I'll keep my mouth shut there then. <laughs> well, we we better not talk about that. But but there's good news coming then. Yeah, so. yeah. definitely. And we can't wait to tell you for real. It's not. <laughs> it's not a- yeah, we're excited either way. So. Well, I didn't mean to put you on the spot, but uh, exciting news. Uh, you know, Billboard named you Eden's Edge to the artist to watch for 2011 list. Congratulations on that. I mean, does that put any pressure on you guys? Do y'all feel extra pressure because of that? I think, you know, I think it's just, it's also exciting. You know, we didn't even realize we were had a chance to be in Billboard, period. And then all of a sudden someone sends us a link and they're like, hey, you're in Billboard. And it says blah, blah. And it's like, Oh, I think everything that's happening is almost kind of so shocking that we, we don't really know how to feel other than just really excited and, and uh, just blessed to, to get to be here. So, And as far as like a day-to-day life right now, we're on radio tour, and you know, I'm sure you're very familiar with what that is, and we're just visiting, uh, you know, one radio station after another, and it's a blast, and we're kind of in our own little world, and to, to hear from the outside, it feels like that, you know, people are getting a, a gist of what we're doing is really exciting, you know. Mm-hmm. We're kind of cut off from the outside world. We kind of live in airplanes and airports right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, not, not living the uh, average lifestyle right now, I would imagine. Since you guys signed with uh, Big Machine Records, you, you've gotten to do a lot of really cool stuff, meet some really cool people. And, and can I get each one of you to kind of tell me what are some of those things that really made an impression on you, maybe some things that you've crossed off the bucket list, those sort of things? One of the coolest things we've gotten to do so far is work with our producer, Mark Bright, who has uh, recorded the first three Rascal Flash records, and he's worked with Terry Underwood on all of her records. He's done a lot of other amazing stuff as well, but just getting to be in a studio with somebody that great, with that great of a track record, and really to hear our songs come to life through his production. It's just, it's really been amazing, and we can't wait for everybody to hear what we've been up to in the studio. Um, I, I feel like, for, this is Hannah, by the way, I think for me, what has been the biggest blessing and, and uh, probably meant the most to me as far as the, the journey that we've been on here is the amount of support and believers that we found um, with people that really want to work hard for us and believe in our music and want to get it out to the world. And when you meet people like that, that's just kind of, that's the reason why anybody ever gets to hear your music. You know, you can play music all day long, but it's not until people start, you know, want to invest in you and believe in you to put it out there. And so our label, our record label, the machine is, you know, we couldn't be with a better family. And we have a great manager team and a great, you know, it's very much in the business side of it, but it's really important to have a great team behind you and just really, really good people. And God has really, really surrounded us with amazing people with beautiful hearts. And that is something that we get to have a blessing from every single day. Yeah, this is Cheryl. I, I, I agree with all those things. They've all been just amazing. But, you know, this year, to add to all those, is we've gotten to open with some really cool people. And I think 
just getting to, to, to meet artists and understand, you know, the, just understand where they've come from and who their journey and, and have them be open to us. You know, we've, we've become pretty good friends with the guys from Lady and Tabon. We've opened for them a few times and have, you know, a few times here in Nashville just when we're all off. And it's been really cool to just get to ask them questions because they've been kind of right ahead of us um, in their journey. And um, they're all about the same age. So we've gotten to kind of be like, you know, how did this work? How did that happen? And they're just so sweet to just share their journey. And um, we've learned and grown from from all the artists that we've gotten to know out here. And so it's just been really fun. You guys got to do some stuff recently uh, in touring TV stations. You, you did the St. Jude's thing in Memphis recently. I know that had to make a big impression on you as well. St. Jude's uh, facility and the whole program we have there is just amazing. And country music has been involved for a long time with St. Jude through the Country Cares program. Uh, Randy Owen from Alabama personally introduced us to the program and, and had a few of the kids from the hospital that we're with him. And just told his story of how he had gotten involved with the hospital. And it was just really cool for us to get to see somebody that that amazing who, you know, has devoted so much time and energy to a cause like that. It's just very special. And, um, you know, the, the place is the most amazing thing is what they've been able to do for all the kids who have had, you know, sicknesses um, that couldn't be treated anywhere else. I think it's really cool to see a, a program in place that when something happens, whether it's in the community or in, in people's lives, you know, people want to help, but they... Sometimes don't know how to help people. They kind of stand back just to kind of give people space. But it's nice to have a program in place where artists and country radio can, can just they know exactly where to get involved in someone leading up something to do. You know, and I think that's just one of the you know one of the many examples that country music has in representing great things. But I, I think all across the world, we've loved country music our whole lives. We're actually being in the business and doing this full time. We get to, uh, you know, see just how amazing everybody is. Like, country artists are really good people. They're very personable. And, you know, it's the people that work in this business, they're all like that. And it's a huge blessing because it's not like that everywhere, you know. You were able to do things for people with the success that you've had. And, uh, you know, you make people smile with your music, too. That's the dream, man. That's the ultimate dream. <laughs> well... The Grand Ole Opry appearance is Saturday, and I know we want to invite everybody that can make their way up to the Grand Ole Opry to support y'all. And uh, I also would ask, what about future appearances? Because usually uh, you go to the Grand Ole Opry, it's not just a one-time deal. Anytime they want to ask us back, we're there. <laughs> <laughs> and another serious question here, really serious, uh, does Dean really dream of being Elvis? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, Elvis is, you know, he's, the king, so he's not a bad person to dream about being. Um, oh. But we had a friend of ours that from, from the record label was out with us on the radio tour, and he had these, these silly glasses with sparkles all around them. Um, <laughs> and so we were all taking pictures with him on, and Hannah said something about me dreaming of seeing Elvis. I think secretly he does. He just doesn't want to tell us. Dean, they look good on you. I, and, and and I think uh, it's very very Elvis-like. <laughs> the new single, Amen, is really, I think, going to be a huge hit for y'all. And uh, let, let's talk about the song uh, and how it came to be an Eden's Edge recording. Well, um, we, uh, we, were, we wrote the song about actually kind of what it's like growing up in a small town similar to the small town here in Arkansas. And, um, you know, you people in Arkansas that are listening out there, you know what we're talking about when we say there's a third time every corner and then... And when you walk into any store and they know your name and it's um, just a small town that way and gossip is just written everywhere and everybody knows everybody else's business. And we wrote a song about what it'd be like to fall in love in a small town kind of like that. And, and that's, you know, pretty much what it's about. It's called Amen. And we're really, really excited about it. It is a great song. We're just about to hear it. Where did you guys film what is on the website? We actually uh, went out in the country south of Nashville about an hour and there was an old church that was built, I think, in the 1840s that was out there. And, you know, it's no longer being used, but it's still just um, standing there perfectly with all the benches. And, you know, it's just an amazing church with kind of the light filtering in. So we did a lot of photos in the church, and then there's a big field outside of the church that we did a lot of photos in as well. So you kind of get to see that in the video and get a, get a feel for where the photo shoot. We, we actually haven't started the video shoot yet, but, you know, I think it, it will be soon. We're right now still kind of on radio, so we're literally only home for about one night. I'm not to kind of do laundry and switch out the bag, clothes and bag. So 
Uh, I think I think there's that. We've got a couple more tracks to finish for the, the rest of the record, too. So we've got a few things to do when we're home. Um, so I think that was, will probably be on our list. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hannah, Cheryl, Dean, thanks for taking time to join us this morning. I know the entire Arkansas River Valley uh, are excited to hear from y'all and uh, tell you the best of luck in, in your future endeavors. And congratulations on all the great honors. And, hey, we look forward to hearing that announcement soon. Oh, thank, thank you so, you so much. much. Well, you have no idea what this means to us because Yesville is where we all met. It's kind of like our home, and to be on the radio with you right now is, like, really surreal. Like, we've been together for seven years, and this is kind of, like, the moment to us. So thank you for having us. This is really amazing. Well, you're welcome, and thanks. I know you guys with CRS this week, you're very, very busy and all the things going on. Uh, thanks again, and we look forward to hearing from you soon. And uh, enjoy standing in the circle Saturday. That is going to be awesome. Yes, thank, you. You. thank you. Hey, if you would, uh, introduce the song for us. Eden's Edge, and our first, this is our first single called Amen. On River Country 102.3 KCJC.